What doesn't it do? Dabin, L'Oreal, Kerastase, Bedhead, the Color Wow, Alterna Caviar, Rawa, John Frieda, Kerastase, Discipline, Oh, Inner Sense, Resume, Absolute Repair, the Redken, Osis Plus, Oof. Wish me luck. Welcome to yet another video where we test out new hair care on camera. And today is the turn of the Absolute Repair 10 in 1 Perfecting Multi Purpose Spray. The claims Oh my nourishment, resurfacing, softness, lightweight touch, detangling, easy blow dry, frizz control, heat protection, split end reduction, and anti pollution. So it sounds like there is nothing that this little spray spray bottle cannot do oh yeah it smells good feels very nice and slippery and conditioned so, so the next step is to style my hair since this is a heat protectant I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry we'll see what the final result is Enchanté. I'm very impressed at how easy the brush is gliding through this. Again, it's not even conditioned here, so... I'm going to try to summarize my first impressions. So the hair definitely feels softer than I was expecting. Granted, I feel that with other deep conditioning hair masks, I've had a lot more hydration and a lot more softness. But then again, this is a very practical item and the results that I'm getting, I would say are in between um, a conditioner that does pretty much nothing for me at least on average, and a very deep conditioning hair mask. So it's kind of in there. So at least for me, this is like conditioner, but with a little extra something. Frizz control, that is also one of my main concerns. May have come at the expense of a little bit of flexibility, but still it looks pretty natural and doesn't feel heavy or super stiff. Now that said, I can feel on some areas it has kind of weighed my hair down. It's not everywhere, so I do suspect that I probably should apply a little bit less product and a little bit more evenly next time. I really need to hit the door fast and it is raining outside real life situation to test out a product that promises to fight freeze and speed up the blow dry time. This is the short scuff Osis Plus Blow and Go. So it doesn't say by how much, but since it is called an express blow dry spray, I am expecting it to, you know, make a significant difference in the time I need to get ready now. So I know for a fact because I have recently timed my blow dry time on my Olplex number no. 6 video and it takes me about 10 minutes on each side so 20 minutes overall and I have exactly 20 minutes to go out the door. So let's see if this can help me cut some minutes of my routine. How much is enough of you? It doesn't say. So the instructions say to spray liberally and that is what I'm going to do. Feel the music, the rhythm, a heart on a mission, can't fight the feeling. So I'm gonna start right now. I'm here to lose our control. Got emotions, emotions, they all wanna go dance, sweat in an ocean and Sufficiently dry it took me 17 minutes and 42 seconds almost so it's really up to you guys 10% of what my usual blow dry time would be it's 7 to 6% humidity today so I'm back clearly and it's been about four or five hours since I left and when I was in the street it started raining it was a very very soft rain and before i got into the cab i did get some you know tiny drops uh on my hair so i'm looking at myself in the mirror this side honestly it looks flawless so 
I feel that it absolutely did a lot for, as far as frizz control. On this side, here, I see a little bit of frizz. So I'm not sure, maybe that had something to do with the application while I was, you know, in a rush. Uh, but all in all, this is an amazing thing considering everything my hair has been through. If you knew my hair and the way my hair can very easily, you know, just turn into a gigantic mess, <laughs> this is actually pretty, pretty amazing. I am impressed. So today I'm going to be testing out this flat iron spray by John Frieda, which promises to create a very smooth, straight hairstyle that lasts up to three days. And yes, we're gonna do a full three-day wear test. Of course, the flat iron on its own, this one is by Numi, is going to help me straighten the hair and remove some of the frizz. But the real test here would be to see, you know, the real difference with and without. See if the hair is actually straighter on one side versus the other, or if it holds longer to the styling. I just can't believe I'm doing this. Gotten rid of quite a bit of frizz. And now let's see what happens on this side. It sounded like I was frying my hair. Yes, when you put it in your hair. You yes, it looks like I was doing something wrong. Hopefully I haven't done any irreversible damage to my hair. So after applying the flat iron spray, I'm supposed to blow dry first. I guess the name flat iron spray. A little bit like sticky, maybe my fault. So moving forward, I'm gonna apply less product. Now that the product has dried, according to the official tutorial, I am going to go in with this flat iron to heat activate the product. Oof, there's a bit of a steam coming out. It doesn't sound like I'm frying my hair anymore. This is definitely interesting. Now that I've gone in with the flat iron, most of that stickiness I was mentioning before disappeared. We have some hairs here that look a little bit puffier on this area. All right, so once again, I'm gonna very quickly do this side. I'm just thinking that I'm gonna have to very quickly blow dry on this side too, or else it's going to be quite unfair. Spray this side, go in with a blow dryer. Um, I know exactly what you're thinking. So much heat. I'm kind of sorry for my right side, but for this other side where I have the spray, um, well, this type of products they're just thermoactivated. So it's not only like allowed, it's also like a requirement for the product to actually work. Yeah, that stickiness does seem to disappear with the heat. This side looks smoother, straighter, overall shinier and more sealed. I'm gonna check in with you guys in 24 hours to see how this is holding on. This is day two for my John Frieda Frizz Ease three day straight flat iron spray. Let's do a quick comparison, but I think, so it's been around 22 hours since I first applied. So far, I'm very impressed with this side. I held on to the styling a lot better. This side is way frizzier. Like, look at that. The bangs are holding on there. Whereas this side is like, also, I don't know about the long-term effects because of the alcohol content, but I have to say it does not feel dehydrated. Look at that shine. I'm zooming out a little bit. The side with the John Frieda without. So far, this side is clearly winning. Okay, day three update. There's a bit of a plot twist. On one side, the freeze control is undeniable. I mean, you can see this side versus this side. This side is way frizzier. So in that regard, it works. That said, the amount of tangles on my ends is kind of concerning. Also the fact that my hair feels very dry and almost a little bit damaged 
probably because of the high concentrations of alcohol in the ingredients list. I'm sorry, I don't see myself using this again. And once again by InnerSense, this is the Hair Love Prep Spray. It contains a vitamin B and rice protein priming spray that provides optimal body style retention and thermal care. If it does all those three things, what else do we need? 6.7 fluid ounces. In this case, we are getting even more product than we have in, for instance, the Kerastas of Discipline Fluidissime. Restore the strength, shine while plumping hair from roots to ends during styling. Hair ceremony becomes centered and stuck. And spray hair love into sections. I have a feeling that this routine is going to air dry beautifully. But since this is indeed a heat protectant, uh, I am tempted to blow dry. I'm gonna blast dry my hair. First of all, that thing that I said before, I thought this routine was going to air dry so beautifully. I take that back. Actually, when I was blow drying my hair, especially the first part, when I was blast drying my hair, looked <sighs> frizzier than I was hoping. And of course, that may not even be an issue for you. If your hair is uh, more manageable, less frizzy than mine, but if you can relate to my hair type for sure this is not the go-to product specific to frizz so that's one thing i wanted to say also the ends do feel a little bit drier than usual uh, as i was blow drying i noticed that my hair was a lot more tangle prone than usual. This is Davine's OI or OI, I don't know, all in one milk. It has, I've never heard of this before, Ruku oil. I'm gonna use this as a styling product. It's not really described as one. It says here it is a multi benefit beauty treatment for all hair types. Hey, this one's made in Italy. Per tutti i tipi di capelli. Back in February of 2017, Reese Witherspoon curated a birch box. And this product was included in that as one of her beauty favorites. It says here adds shine, softness, and silver silkiness and has excellent detangling power. Oh, it also controls the frizz, gives body without weighing the hair down, has exceptional conditioning effect and it is a heat protectant. You know what's really really interesting about this product is that it can be used either as a living heat protectant, styling product or if we have to get ready super fast. This could potentially be good to replace conditioner. So I'm gonna spread this liberally. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, now I know. Sorry, I'm not a fan of this smell at all. I don't even know what it smells like. I'm gonna apply it at the back where I have some tangles to see if it's if it helps me detangle those areas. It's quite slippery, so it seems to be helping there. It smells a little bit like pine tree, but not in a good way. And now, yes, I am super ready to blow dry. So I'm gonna blast dry my hair at first, and then I'm gonna go in with the brush and try to give my hair a little bit of movement. Honestly, I can't get over how strange this smells to me. You know, people think differently about fragrances. If you own this, could you let me know in the comments below if you find the smell really weird or maybe it's just the one I got that's faulty because it is a huge turnoff and it could be a good product, I don't know. Other than that, I'm pretty sure it has contributed to this final result. I mean, it makes sense that because it is a living product, it's just more obvious if it's bad because it's right there in your hair, like you don't rinse it off. So it would have made the blow drying process 
very strange and in fact I think it did quite the odd by the brand Rawa. So this comes in a very luxurious packaging and it actually looks like a skincare product. Ooh, wow. The texture is like really something. Look at that. I've never seen like a leaving product look like a deep conditioning treatment actually. You know what? This may actually save the results of this entire routine for me. Yep, my expectations just went up all of a sudden. All right, so it says to apply just a little bit on damp here, paying special attention to the ends. So I'm gonna do that. These are ends as well. I mean, I've been wrong before course but this may make up for the deep conditioning action that I usually get on a hair mask but this routine was just missing turban back on it is a heat protectant it is also anti-frizz and contains a rawa oil which is supposed to strengthen hair Ooh, and it contains quinoa to promote moisture retention you're gonna see me shake the roots for added lift notice that i'm going to be twisting fairly big chunks of hair and keeping the blow dryer a little bit more distant Ooh, this is looking nice so first we're gonna straighten the roots a little bit and then we're gonna get big chunks twist twice always away from the face and then just leave it like that i don't want to lose my natural texture so i'm doing this really quick Ooh, this is nice you're so wild i'm not gonna fight it hypnotized Stuck inside my mind because you gotta, you gotta be something undefined for me. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight. Oh, wow, is this my hair? Oof. I never thought I was going to be this pleased with the result. It's such a voluminous and like nicely textured mane. This entire routine really gave me tons of volume in a controlled way, if that makes sense. I gotta say that out of her entire routine, the Rawa leave-in treatment was the one I was most impressed about. I gotta warn you, it is not 100% undetectable to the touch. Maybe it has a lot to do with the fact that I was really generous when applying this frizziness is a big issue for me but it's definitely the product that i am most impressed with the tresemme i think the actual pronunciation would be closer to tresemme repair and protect seven with biotin chloe's pre-styling spray promises to repair seven types of damage in just one use low drying straightening coloring curling bleaching brushing and braiding right the time of truth music the rhythm a heart on a mission can't fight the feeling and i'm not denying it no so here's the thing this heat protectant i did not like it i just once tried a trace may hair mask and i did not like it at all and never again i touched another tresemme uh product and kylie is actually a huge fan of a product that kim actually uses on her and this is the color wow the color wow dream coat <laughs> it rained that entire weekend and this it transforms the hair texture and creates um, a protective barrier against humidity so that your hair looks sleek straight longer this is quite a pricey item for the amount you're getting inside it's totally worth it for me but for special occasions only it contains a heat activated polymer and it kind of seals the cracks in very porous hair protecting it from contact from humidity so it doesn't you know become all puffy so based on my own personal experience with this product i have a feeling this could be maybe just maybe the secret product they use for shiny hair during their photo shoots so these heat activated polymer is supposed to last up to three shampoos so you basically want to spread this liberally throughout your entire hair Oh, 
Enchanté. This is looking beautiful, really glamorous. My hair feels soft and more manageable than the starting point, that is for sure. Doesn't want Jennifer Aniston's hair. This is not only a tangle spray and a heat protectant, but apparently it is also a styling trick that Chris McMillan uses on Jennifer. A weightless live-in mist that effectively detangles and smooths while restoring natural movement, manageability, and shine without weighing the hair down. Sulfate free, silicone free, essential oil free, fragrance free, dye and drying alcohol free as well. And when it's free of everything you do wonder, okay so what is in it? Currently it has a blend of fermented oils and amino acids plus it has a pH of 4.5 so it is acid and hair loves acidity. I'm gonna spray liberally wow like I can tell you this is a very nice even mist <sighs> okay so I just found a con this contains a four fluid ounces of product and I have a feeling it is not going to last that long and it's not a cheap product you know so i'm gonna go now let it air dry for one or two hours whenever my hair decides to fully dry and then i'm gonna come back lift the roots curling wand or whatever you have remember this is a heat protectant in the areas that i don't see the wave in a good shape i'm gonna like going twice around the wand like it's a really really loose wave that i'm trying to shape oh this is gorgeous this other one right here doesn't look right so i'm gonna curl away and then leaving the tip straight so we're getting somewhere now okay so i'm gonna do twice that it needs to go around the barrel make it slip a little bit and it is really loose Enchanté. Okay, I really like this. It is so nice and voluminous. Um, spring, summer type of hairstyle. This is another product I've never even heard of and it is by Redken as well. It is the Redken Diamond Oil Glow Dry and it is supposed to be used either before or after blow drying. Clearly we're gonna do this after. Wow, do you guys see that? Looks like a diamond perfume. <laughs> Very Kim Kardashian, if you ask me. Visually appealing and looks so luxurious. Okay, now I'm scared. It says multiple times on the packaging, highly flammable until dry. It says to avoid fire or any heat except for styling tools. So this must contain a ton of alcohol. And yes. It is actually the second ingredient. This contains both alcohol and silicone. Heat activated silicone. Redken seems like a very serious company, so I'm just gonna take the leap of faith and just see what this does. If it doesn't work, I just will stop using it and it is closed. Just applying two pumps, spread evenly. I was expecting some type of oil because it's called a diamond oil. Quite a present fragrance. It is not greasy. All right, so there we have it. This is the after. Thumbs up. The smooth, perfect smoothing cream for unmanageable hair. You get 125 mils or 4.25 fluid ounces. Funny because actually the formulation of this uh, smoothing cream is similar, not exactly, but it is quite similar to the Keratin Smooth Perfect treatment. Apply a small amount, small, it really depends on your hair. And I'm gonna spread this through evenly. I do have more hair than you probably can see on camera. 
kind of goes a little bit under. And again, I'm going to go slightly upwards, closer to the root than I would generally do with a leave-in product. I feel that my top layer being shorter and more highlighted, I have a lot more frizz than the bottom layer. So I'm gonna try to apply more product there without hopefully overdoing it. And now it's time to blow dry. This is pretty sleek straight for me. How much straighter could we go? I'm gonna check in tomorrow to see how things are. So I wake up this morning and I'm super curious to see how my hair is looking. I was shocked when I looked at my hair in the mirror, even before that, just by touching my hair. I was like, what happened here? After all, that I take care of it. This is the downside of testing out products constantly and not just sticking to what works, which is what you should be doing instead. So I'm gonna have to do some damage control. That's why I test out hair care products so that this does not happen to you and it does happen to me instead. So where do I even begin? First of all, it did not hold on to styling. As you can see, I have a wave. So all the sleek and super straightness that we had achieved gone. Just 24 hours later, so drying. So will I repurchase for sure? No, I will probably just not use it at all. I just keep these type of products in a drawer. It's what happened to me. I think everybody can relate to the after party moment. That Cinderella moment when you've danced all night and your mane is just growing and growing. Lovely, girly, hot pink. Bedhead after party. Quick story about this video. I was chilling in my sofa and I was watching this episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians and they were on this photo shoot glam squad surrounding them. And I see one of the hairs stylists from the back and I noticed this on his jeans back pocket. The true beauty investigator never rests. I start doing some research and I find this intouchweekly.com article. The secret to Kourtney Kardashian's glossy hair is this $10 smoothing cream. The article features of course this product that I'm going to be testing out today. Nice, so this is a cream. I just put two palms on the palms of my hand and I'm going to spread it, focusing on the midsection and ends. All right, so today I'm gonna use my Elhim and my Olivia Garden brush to blow dry. Enchanté. Enchanté. All right, so there are certain promises that I feel the product is delivering at least on wet hair, but there are other things that I just don't see as much. Your hair does feel considerably softer than if I hadn't applied the product. And I know that if my husband touched my hair, he wouldn't be able to tell that I have any product on. That is always a huge plus. It does look glossier than if I hadn't applied the product. So I can totally see how this could be a great hair hack for a photo shoot. But that said, I was expecting even more. To be honest, I wouldn't say this is a glass-like effect. And although it is not absolutely sleek and flawless, I do notice quite a bit of frizz control and a little bit less flyaways. Just one last thing, I feel like Courtney likes very super straight hair and simple physics. The straighter your hair is, the more light it will bounce. I'm gonna touch up the hair just a little bit with the flat iron. Then I'm going to apply a tiny bit of this on dry hair so that we can test it out. <sighs> Yeah, we're definitely closer to glass here. I mean, 
need I say more? Definitely found the way I will personally be using this product moving forward. I think I'm gonna give this product a thumbs up on dry hair. Oh, okay, this is the cutest little bottle of oil that I've ever seen in my life. If you ask me, it looks like a tiny bottle of perfume. Oplex number no. seven bonding oil is first of its kind, highly concentrated, ultra lightweight. I definitely love that on hair oils. Reparative, dramatically increases shine, adds softness and strength, and enhances all hair types and texture, and it is a heat protectant. Supposedly, it provides protection up to 450 Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. And it says to kind of tap the product and you can see that a couple of drops come out. It just helps me kind of measure the amount better. Um, it does happen to me with other oils that come in pumps that sometimes I just get too much product out and it doesn't say how much it says it should be a small amount so I guess it depends on hair's length and for even better results it says to mix with a little bit of Olaplex number six again I use a little bit more product than you probably need yourself but anyways let's mix these two together and uh, yeah and with that last residue I'm going to kind of gently tap it over my roots I mean, my hair looks completely sealed, extra lightweight. I mean, you cannot even tell I have product on my hair. This is the straightest, healthiest, and like sleeker I have ever seen my hair. This is an absolute instant favorite. And in today's episode, Keratin Thermique by Kerastase and it is from the Discipline line. It's a thermic leaving um, styling cream that is meant for very unruly and rebellious hair. You guys know I, I am one of those very lucky people on this earth and that kind of explains why I am constantly on this quest and testing out more and more and more hair care products. This whole series is like a big cry for help from me. At the back it says it is a smoothing and taming anti-freeze slash anti-humidity blow dry milk and it also says that it contains an active ingredient which is very well known for its um, heat protecting properties and that that is specifically designed to be used with heating tools such as uh, blow dryers or hair straightener. Only lengths and ends. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. So application check. Oh my god, there's vapor all over my room. I all right, are we ready for the big reveal? On the count of three. Un, deux, trois. <laughs> Don't come for me, guys. That's all the French I know. Oh la la, Carastase, je t'aime. If you're one of those rare people who have a very um, sleek, soft, straight hair. You know, those people who keep complaining that they don't have enough movement, enough volume on their hair, that they, they wish that their curls will hold on into place longer, then first of all, um, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> and second of all, this product is definitely not for you. Don't go spending your money on getting your hair straighter. This is not promising to do anything for your hair's health, but yes, for its appearance. If you have terribly unruly, rebellious hair, hair that typically tends to tangle very easily, hair that is typically very, very porous, very sensitive to humidity, that the type of hair where after putting 
you know, 40 minutes into styling your hair, you go out the door and all of a sudden your hair is looking this big. And this product, in, in fact, the entire line is definitely for you. The livers for the crazy hair girl. Final product that Chloe just raves about and it is a heat protectant. Quite affordable actually. The Tresemme. I think the actual pronunciation would be closer to Tresemme. Repair and protect seven with biotin. Chloe's pre-styling spray promises to repair seven types of damage in just one use low drying straightening coloring curling bleaching brushing and braiding the only thing i've heard that truly repairs a damaged hair is Olplex. all right the time of truth music the rhythm a heart on a mission can't fight the feeling and i'm not denying it no this heat protectants and i did not like it and in today's episode we're going to be testing out this brushing cream this is the l'oreal lipidium absolute repair reconstructing blow dry cream we should start with a dime sized amount apply evenly on towel dried hair from the ends and work up towards the mid uh, lengths okay we're gonna start at the ends and work it upwards to the mid lengths Combing through with my tangle teaser. All right, so that is the side without. Take the rhythm, a heart on a mission. Can't fight the feeling, and I'm not denying it. All right, my friends, so both sides are now styled. Side with the absolute repair blow dry cream and this is the side without by the look of this i think it is pretty obvious when i'm looking at myself in the mirror this side looks a lot puffier and less shiny than this side even though it looks great because i have used the absolute repair hair mask on both sides so it does look a lot straighter smoother and silkier so for any of you guys looking for a heat protector or a styling cream for any of you guys who are obsessed with the loyal lipidium absolute repair i would suggest you test this one out at least i am very 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 pleased as a very expensive hair care line by alterna when you reach something like that caviar it's like written gold or diamonds on something you know there's going to be a high price tag attached to that caviar cc cream it perfects hair in 10 different ways moisture shine smoothness softness uv protection manageability strength strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and light hold. It is definitely a thicker texture. The smell is slightly similar to the conditioner. So I'm just gonna go ahead trying to stay away from roots and kind of trying to focus a little more on my ends. As you guys can see, it did kind of tame my hair. It looks less frizzy. I'm going to continue now to style my hair as I always do. for me you guys because I don't have the budget that goes with having such expensive hair care if I only had to pick one single item in this kit because I just couldn't afford all the rest which is possibly what's going to happen I would pick just the caviar CC cream you guys saw it just when I, I had all my frizzy curly hair and I could instantly see a difference I can testify that out of all the 10 benefits of the CC cream I saw the moisture the shine, the softness, and the manageability instantly on my hair. I think it's just amazing for dry, frizzy hair. Today is the turn of Gerastas Discipline Fluidissime with Morpho Keratin. This is a leaving spray. It promises just about everything that I would ever hope for in this category. Heat protection, smoothness, shine, and most importantly, up to 72 hours of freeze control. 72 two hours. What? I'm going to be doing a kind of a side-by-side -side with and without situation and then we're really going to scrutinize the final result and see if this is worth purchasing or not. 
So I'm basically going to try to split this in half and it says to spray on towel dried hair. Mm. And now I'm going to detangle last dry both the sides up to, I don't know, about 50-60%. We're going to moving on to sectioning. I want to take a very, very close look and see how these two sides compare. Alright, so these are my thoughts from what I'm seeing right now. It is quite lightweight. It doesn't feel like you've got product at all. And I definitely don't like when leaving creams or any leaving type of product that promises to fight freeze does that at the expense of making my hair look very pasty, feel kind of heavy. As far as frizz control, I do notice a bigger difference kind of in my ends, like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think you can. Maybe you should come closer there. I do see some more frizz control on this side. This side, the ends look a little bit puffier than on the side in which I applied the Fluidissime spray. You know what the biggest difference I feel right now, right after this first use? It really feels smoother. The difference is, it's kind of unquestionable if you ask me. I mean, look at the phrase on this section. Ooh, that's a nice shine. I'm gonna have to trust Gastas as far as the heat protecting action. However, with long-term use, any heat protectant that is effective will show on the quality and health of your hair. Yes, this is Heidi from the future and I wanted to include a very quick update as promised. The side with the product is definitely still looking a lot less frizzy than the side without. So all good on that front so far. However, if you're looking for a product that will help you hold on to kind of the final result after styling your hair, you know, that fresh blow, that is not what this product is for. Uh, it did not help me in that department, but it didn't promise to either, so I guess we're good. Also, regarding the ingredients, this contains amodimethicone and Phenyl trimethicone, which are both silicone, so definitely not a silicone free product. It also contains glycerin and hydrolyzed wit protein. So there you heard the update from Heidi from the future. So all in all, I'm going to give this product a thumbs up. That is a wrap. If you're enjoying this type of content, please let me know by subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking, and all those things. As always, every single product used and mentioned throughout this entire video is going to be listed and linked in the description box below. Thank you for your support if you decide to use my links on this or any of my other videos. It really does help keep this channel going. No matter what comes your way, stay brave. You are a warrior with the heart of an angel. Ciao. Mm. Baby, do you wanna follow? Click here.